from in listen only mode. All right, well, good morning, everyone. If I can ask uh, everyone to have a seat. We are ready to get started with today's formal meeting of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. We'll start as we always do with the roll. Madam Clerk. Good morning, thank you. Supervisor Sellers. Here. Supervisor Galvin. Here. Supervisor Hickman. Here. Supervisor Gallardo is absent this morning. I understand he might join us later on today. Um, uh, Chairman Gates. Here. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Um, we always start our formal meetings with the invocation and the pledge. And today I'm very excited. The way that it works here is that we kind of rotate uh, around the dais on inviting folks from leaders from our community to come join us and lead us in the uh, invocation and the pledge. And I'm thrilled uh, today uh, to have the opportunity to welcome our recently reelected mayor of uh, the town of Paradise Valley, uh, Mayor Jerry B.N. Wilner. Um, the, the mayor is a, is a fantastic leader in our community and in District 3, and I'd like to say a few words after uh, the invocation and the pledge, but at this time, if you're able to stand, if you could please do so, and thank you, Mayor, for joining us. Thank you, uh, Chairman Gates, uh, very, very much, and honorable supervisors, members of uh, the county team and members of the public. It's a great, uh, it's humbling and it's a great privilege to lead and offer this invocation. Dear Lord, thank you for your many blessings and for your love and protection. As we are mindful that we are each created in your likeness and therefore our bonds are far stronger than anything that would seem to divide us, we thank you for each and every day you give to us and for both our opportunities and challenges as we work together to make our world an even better place for all. We pray for strength, courage, clarity, and guidance for each day as it comes, and for each day's duties and responsibilities, so that we may conduct ourselves with the dignity, wisdom, compassion, and love for our neighbors and ourselves that you inspire us to embrace. May we be challenged to give our best always, and may we be assured of your presence with us. And let us say together, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So again, uh, thank you, Mayor, for, for coming and speaking. You've been an incredible partner to the county uh, throughout your time uh, as mayor, uh, through a lot of the challenges that we've had uh, as a county. I just wanna thank you personally. Uh, you've been really supportive through some, some challenges that we've had and all the while just providing outstanding representation for the town of, of Paradise Valley. The town is very fortunate to have you as mayor and, and I think I speak on behalf of all my colleagues here that however we can be supportive of the town in your next term uh, as mayor, we'll, we'll certainly do that. So thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us today. Mr. Chairman. Yes, please. Supervisor um, Galvin. I also want to echo those comments. Uh, District 2, a portion of District 2 is also in Paradise Valley. So I consider Mayor B.N. Wilner my mayor as well. And over the past year, I've been a supervisor. There's been a lot of pleasant uh, experiences that I have, but they rank right up there with meeting you, Mayor, and working with you. And I now consider you a friend. But I also want to congratulate you on your victory and also want to commend you for your fantastic leadership for the town of Paradise Valley because you lead the town with integrity and dignity. And you are a true pillar of the community here in the Valley because you are a great public servant, a great family man, and a man of service. And so it's great to have you here. We're honored to be here and I'm honored to work with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Supervisor Galvin. Okay, and now in person, Today, uh, we have Kim joining us for our pet showcase. Great, oh my goodness. We've, we got oh boy. Say it in the microphone. Oh boy, all I can go. say is They're I'm whimpering. happy the girls are away at college right now. 
Yeah, so I was going to bring a great Pyrenees named Baby, a much larger dog than these two. Uh, but naturally, it's it's something about this Board of Supervisors meeting. Every time I pick a dog, it gets adopted. So I got to start picking more dogs. Uh, she got adopted late last night, so I came in today, and I said, oh my gosh, I don't have a dog. And they said, here, take two puppies. And who says no to that, right? So these are two four-week-old puppies. I don't know if you guys can hear them whimpering. Um, they were very young, obviously. They were found without their mother. Um, um, on the Salt River Reservation. Wow. So we don't really know their breed, but they were found with uh, five siblings. So these are just two of the litter. Uh, they're all being taken care of by our shelter staff. Um, we're, they're in kind of the toddler stage, so they get wet food. So we're taking care of them. We get dogs all shapes, sizes, personalities at the shelter. Uh, and this is a really good time to highlight our foster program because fosters are going to be able to take in these puppies, let them grow a little. And fosters also help us learn more about other dogs that are in the shelter that you know we can learn more about their personalities and what they like, what kind of home they prefer. And so our foster homes, we're really grateful for them. Our foster program is amazing. It's gonna let these guys uh, grow up a little and then they'll be up for adoption in about five weeks. Well, thank you for bringing them. Uh, gr great to great to see them. Great to have you here in person. Uh, and uh, as as always, thank you so much for all you guys do over at Animal Care and Control. Of course, thank you. All right. All right, before we move on to our next item, I just wanted to uh, welcome our Maricopa County Sheriff, Paul Penzone, who's with us. Great to see you, Sheriff. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, um, next we will move on to the appointment, Board of Supervisors item number five, which is the appointment of constable for the Arcadia Biltmore Justice Precinct. Um, and the board will now consider item five. Mr. Mr. Chairman, move approval on item number five. Thank you very much. Do we have a second? Second. All right. Thank you for the motion in the second. Um, before we we go to a vote, I just want to um, thank um, Chris Weibel, who is uh, th that's who the motion relates to, to be our new constable for the Arcadia Biltmore Justice Precinct. He's actually been appointed to a constable position in the past, so he's someone who, who comes in in a time of need and did a fantastic job before, and so we're really thrilled uh, that he's willing again to step up and uh, support our community in this very important a very difficult role, um, as we've we've discussed here, obviously in our county and in our state as a whole. This is a challenging role, but so important. And I have no doubt that Chris is going to bring his experience and professionalism uh, to the table and and be an incredible servant uh, leader uh, to to the area. So with that, we do have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed. Motion passes unanimously. So uh, congratulations um, to to uh, Chris Weibel on this uh, on this uh, appointment today. All right. Next, we'll move on to planning and zoning hearings. We have consent agenda six, Black Rock Coffee eight, Harquahalla Sun three, and nine, Hyder Energy Center project. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I move approval of, of items. I understand that item seven is being taken off the consent agenda, and therefore I move approval of the planning and zoning consent agenda items six, eight, and nine, in accordance with the commission recommendations as printed on the agenda. Thank you um, for the motion. Do we have second? Second. Thank you very much, Supervisor Sellers. Motion and a second. Uh, do we have any registered speakers or comments received on these items, Madam Clerk? Sorry, Chairman, Supervisors. On item number eight, we received a speaker form from Keith Nitcher and Garrett Bean. Um, they are available to speak in favor only if necessary. 
Okay, wonderful. All right, so we have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Okay, so my apologies. We're gonna we're gonna jump back now to uh, item five, uh, and we are actually gonna have the swearing in uh, of of our new constable. And I want to acknowledge our uh, presiding constable, Mike Branham, who's here today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your leadership. So. Here. And then Chris is right there. Okay, yeah, come on up. Sorry, I was I was looking for you here. I know we don't have as many people as our last meeting, but still, there's a lot of faces out there. So, wonderful. Okay. Thought I was getting off easy. Yeah, no, no, not at all, not at all. Thank you so much for your willingness to serve. We're really excited. And with that, I will turn it over to our uh, clerk of the board. Just wible. Do solemnly swear. Solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the constitutions and laws of the state of Arizona. And the constitutions and laws of the state of Arizona. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And defend them against all enemies. And defend them against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the Constable of the Office of Constable for the Arcadia Biltmore Justice Precinct. For the Arcadia Biltmore Justice Precinct. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And great to have you on the Maricopa County team again. Look, look forward to working with you. Okay, we'll go back now to planning and zoning hearings, regular agenda seven, Brown Family Project. Um, Darren and Tom, you have a presentation for us. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Item number seven. Z2021-162, the Brown Family Project. The subject property is approximately 10 acres located east of the 144th Street alignment and Willis Road in the Gilbert area. The specific request is for a rezone from Rural 43 to C2 with the CUPD overlay. Specifically, the CUPD overlay will um, allow for modifications to the billboard standards as well as prohibition of certain land uses in the C2 zoning district. This case was heard by the Planning and Zoning Commission at their November 3rd hearing with a unanimous recommendation for approval. There has been opposition to this case from the town of Gilbert. Um, and with that, I'd accept any or take any questions you have. Thank you so much. Do we have any questions from uh, members of the board? Yes, Tom. Mr. Chairman, I forgot to, rec uh, to uh, uh, also inform you of a request from the applicant for a modification specifically to stipulation C. Um, the app, uh, this came in after the um, recommendation from the commission. Specifically, the, re the request is to modify condition C related to the billboard standards. It would delete C1 related to height and would uh, modify C2 to read billboard height, uh, maximum billboard height at 80 feet. Okay, so the modification was to stipulation C? Correct. Is that correct? Okay, perfect. All right, uh, did that... Uh, Prompt any questions from the board? All right, uh, Madam Clerk, do we have any uh, comments or any registered speakers received on item seven? Chairman, we received one speaker form from Ashley McDonald in opposition for item number seven. Okay, uh, Ashley McDonald, would you care to speak? Okay, looks D like is she, she online? on the webinar. Can you put her on, please? All right, can you hear me? Yes. Good morning. All right. Morning. Thank you. Good morning, Chairman Gates and Supervisors. Yeah. Um, I do appreciate the opportunity to speak on this item. Uh, my name is Ashley McDonald, and I serve as the principal planner for the town of Gilbert. I wanted to take an opportunity to voice the town of Gilbert's opposition to the proposed rezoning for the Brown Family Project. 
Uh, the proposal is a county island within the town of Gilbert planning area. And the rezoning to C2 conflicts with the town of Gilbert general plan where we envision employment uses in this specific area. Uh, I would note that the site is located 1,200 feet away from an arterial roadway with no direct access from an arterial to the site, making it improbable that the site will develop with commercial uses. Uh, in addition, because the site will need town utilities for future development, it remains our position that rezoning from R43 to a non-residential district should occur within the town after annexation. Uh, the proposed rezoning includes requests to modify standards of the Maricopa County Zoning Ordinance by decreasing the separation between billboards, increasing the maximum height that a billboard can be from the freeway, and increasing the height of a billboard. These modifications would permit, permit a billboard of greater size in a location not envisioned by the Maricopa County Zoning Ordinance. It's the town's position that adopting these modifications to the standards would have a detrimental impact on surrounding properties due to increased visual clutter. The town respectfully requests that the Board of Supervisors deny the, the Brown Family Project rezoning request as the site's unlikely to develop as a commercial use due to no utilities, limit ac limited access, and no street frontage. The request appears to be an effort to allow a billboard which is prohibited by the town of Gilbert. If the board does wish to approve the rezone, we would respectfully ask that the modifications related to billboards be excluded from the approval um, or that billboards be removed as an allowed use from the PAD. Um, appreciate your time again uh, and, and the opportunity to provide feedback from uh, the town of Gilbert. Thank you so much. Um, Anything further from the board? If not, I would uh, entertain a motion to approve this item. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to move approval of item seven in accordance with the unanimous commission recommendation as printed on the agenda with a revised condition C per the handout received this morning to permit a maximum billboard height of 80 feet. Thank you for that motion. Do we have a second? Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thanks so much, uh, Tom and, and Darren. Appreciate your time. Continuing with the planning and zoning hearings, regular agenda 10, Eagle Tail Airstrip. Uh, on this item, the applicant has requested a continuance to the January 25th, 2023 meeting. Uh, the board will now consider item 10. Mr. Chairman, um, Supervisor Gallardo is not uh, here yet, and um, I think this is his district. So with that uh, request, the applicant has requested case number Z2020011 be continued to allow additional time to review and evaluate community feedback. Staff supports the continuance. Therefore, I move continuance of item 10 to the January 25th board meeting. Thank you very much. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you. We have a motion to continue and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Um, continuing with planning and zoning hearings, regular agenda continued 11, cowboy mounted shooting training with half loads. Um, the uh, On this item, Supervisor Galvin, Mr. yes. Mr. Chairman, I have a potential conflict on this item. I'd like to recuse from number 11, please. All right, thank you so much. We'll let you step out of the auditorium. M Mr. Chairman? Yes. I don't know if you have anything else to say, but much along the same lines as this, the last item, uh, the cowboy mounted shooting with half loads, item 11 is also in District 5, and Supervisor uh, Gallardo is not with us yet today. So the applicant has requested case number Z2021141 be continued to allow additional time to review concerns and meet with neighborhood stakeholders. Staff supports the continuance. Therefore, I move continuance of item 11 to the January 25th board meeting. Thank you for the motion to continue. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Motion to continue and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Bless you. Um, continuing, or now we're moving on to statutory hearings, air quality 12. Welcome back. Supervisor Galvin, under Air Quality 12, incorporation by reference, Rule 360, Rule 370, Rule 371, and Appendix G, 
Madam Clerk, do we have any registered speakers or comments received on item 12? Chairman, none were received for this item. Okay, the board will now consider item 12. Approval oh, item. I'm sorry. Looks I'm like sorry. Blue, do we have a, a slip from you? Yes, My apologies. We do. I apologize, Blue. Please come join us. Like like the shirt, Blue. Good Thank morning. You. Well, this is the shirt you're liking, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was Because um, <laughs> on the front page of the paper with your picture. You know that Andy Kanasik and I were the last people not to be able to get into the room, so you would have had two more supporting. I, I, I heard but, about that. Right. I'm so, but sorry you to can hear see that. On that. I'll show you <laughs> after the meeting from the front page. I'm wearing this and waiting to get in here to tell you guys that okay, you did I, a good I job. Okay, I think we're, we're starting to take away from your time, okay. so go ahead. Um, <laughs> acid rain is one of the things that you're dealing with, and what is the most prevalent part of what causes that tailpipe emissions? When you look at the transit and the bus part, the biggest hole in the desert is your city, sir, because how much transit do you have? Zero. And when you look at like one of the routes that goes from your district, uh, 70, that is, uh, <coughs> starts at Luke Air Force Base, but it terminates at 24th Street rather than going through your city all the way to Scottsdale so that a part of the grid would be there. And the reason for that is they don't want buses. So with your document that you're putting forward, that supports that. I'm trying to get you to change what you have submitted to the legislature for Prop uh, 400 extension and make it for traffic patterns, not for whether you want it there or not, because it's for the region and you need to get it done right. As in with the uh, showing you the picture of, uh, on the map of all of the parts of the grid on the West Valley that weren't even done in there, and you say that you're going to be developing it past that, we need to do it right. And when you submit it to the people, it's their quality that you're also working at. Please, thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, so I don't think we've had a motion yet, have we on this item? Did we, okay, do we have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move approval of item number 12. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers, do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin, motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes unanimously, and I see Phil McNeely here with us from Air Quality. So thank you, Phil, for all that you and your, your team do on these uh, important issues. Statutory hearings continued Clerk of the Board 13 Liquor License Application A, new license for Sun City Food Mart, 14 petitions hearing for the formation of the Janet Rose Irrigation Water Delivery District. Madam Clerk, do we, do we have any registered speakers or comments received on items 13A or 14? Chairman, none were received for these items. All right, the board will now consider items 13A and 14. Mr. Chairman, move approval items 13A and 14. Thank you, do we have a second? Second. Thank you. Motion and a second, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Statutory hearings continued under transportation. We have 15 road file declarations A, road file number A716B, road file number A717. 16 through 19 patent easement abandonments as listed on the agenda. Madam Clerk, do we have any registered speakers or comments received on items 15A and B um, through 19? Chairman, none were received for these items. Okay, the board will now consider these items. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 15 through 19. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Do we have a second? Second, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Motion is second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Under county officers, we have Board of Supervisors 20 through 22, reappointments to Planning and Zoning Commission, 23, reappointment to Parks and Recreation, 
24 resignation from the Travel Reduction Program Regional Task Force, and 25 is a resignation from the Santan Justice Precinct Justice of the Peace. The board will now consider items 20 through 25. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 20 through 25 with a comment. Yes, thank you. Do you have a second? Second. Supervisor Sellers. You know, on item number 20, I, I just want to thank uh, Spike Lawrence for being willing to continue serving on our Planning and Zoning Commission. Uh, Spike is an outstanding developer and a very involved community member, so he's an ideal person to serve in that position, and I really appreciate, appreciate him willing, his willingness to continue to serve. Also, I want to thank uh, Samuel Goodman, who has been the Justice of the Peace, uh, who was retired. And we are accepting applications for that position up until 5 o'clock today. Wonderful. Thank you, Supervisor Seller. Supervisor Galvin. Mr. Chairman, thank you. In that same vein, I want to uh, thank and congratulate Jay Swart for his um, continuing dedication to the Planning and Zoning Commission. I appreciate his willingness to continue to serve. Um, he serves with distinction so far. And then I want to congratulate John Crane, who wants to continue working in the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee. And he should be commended as well because he's also the mayor of Carefree. So he just got elected as mayor. So I want to yeah. congratulate John Crane as well. So thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And just a good reminder that the county wouldn't be able to accomplish what it does without these volunteers who serve in these important roles on our boards and commissions. So we do have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Under clerk of the board, we have 26 through 27 special event license for Empower Ranch and Golden Roller Skates. Clerk of the court, 28 appointments. Constables, 29 grant funding from Constable Ethics Standards and Training Board and 30 constable first and second term pay adjustment. The board will now consider items 26 through 30. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 26 through 30. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Do we have a second? second. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin, for the second. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Under County Attorney 31, funding from the U.S. Department of Justice Federal Bureau of Investigation. 32, appointments and oaths of office. 33, replacement of fleet vehicles and exemption from markings. Under the school superintendent, 34, competition and practicable basis policy research. 35, school district boundaries transcript. The board will now consider items 31 through 35. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 31 through 35. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Under the Sheriff, we have 36, Arizona Department of Education for Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, 37, supplements to the agreement with the Office of National Drug Control Policy, 38 through 40, acceptance of entitlement funds from Arizona Department of Education, State Criminal Alien Assistance Funding, Funding from the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement for Overtime, 41, U.S. Forest Service deobligation and closeout form, 42, rescind and replace action and MOU with USDA. The board will now consider items 36 through 42. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 36 through 42. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Do we have a second? Second. second. Ooh, I'm going to give that one to Supervisor Galvin. Oh. <laughs> And we don't have instant replay here. So, uh, Motion is second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Uh, next, uh, for the sheriff, continued, we have 43, established court-ordered fund for PSB staffing. 44, amend data sharing agreement with DES. 45, donations to the sheriff's office MASH. And 46, monthly donations report October. Um, as I mentioned, we do have the sheriff here. Um, sheriff, you're certainly welcome if you'd like to on uh, discuss item 43 if there are any questions from the board. Otherwise, we can we can go uh, forward to a vote. So I don't did the sheriff. Oh, there's the sheriff. Yeah, Sh yeah uh, if you don't mind, if, uh, a yeah. quick question. Sheriff, would you mind sheriff. joining us? Thank you. Good morning. 
Good, good morning, and good morning, uh, Mr. Sheriff. I appreciate you seeing, being here today. And um, I just thought it would be uh, helpful uh, with, a, with a dollar figure um, and knowing about uh, labor and how difficult uh, it is. But there's a, there's a big number here. Do you, do you want to take us through um, why you feel that number's the appropriate number? Well, actually, that, that number is more so established due to the, the recent court order coming out uh, relative to the Melendrez case. Um, we have an obligation, and it's not one that uh, we don't see the value in, to make sure that we hire a certain number of civilian investigators to supplement the staff that we've already dedicated to our Internal Affairs Division Professional Standards. And due to the, the fact that the volume of cases is so substantial, our bandwidth to meet that demand uh, while, while handling an organization that obviously has a lot of unique demands, just in general, it's become cumbersome. The, uh, the courts have determined that they feel it's appropriate to potentially assess fines, and I say potentially with an emphasis, because this number that we're asking for is not an expenditure. It is basically a budget line item to uh, be established should there be any fines assessed if we're incapable of meeting the court's demand, which is that we hire, I believe the number is eight new civilian investigators to supplement our Professional Standards Bureau. Uh, the commitment of the organization has and will always continue to be there. So we're working diligently to make sure that we don't only hire eight civilian investigators, but potentially a few more than that to help our investigators that are already in place. Uh, but that number is just a mathematical equation that comes out to that amount should there be fines assessed. But it's fully my intention to avoid uh, any, any impact, any adverse impact on our community and the taxpayers. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for the sheriff? Uh, Sheriff, I, I just want to thank you for your focus on this issue. We understand this is a difficult environment. We, it doesn't matter what business you're in. It's a difficult environment right now to hire people. We know there's very high demand on labor, but we also know the importance that you place on this issue. You acknowledge and respect the, the court's uh, assistance on this matter, and, and thank you for to you and your team for taking this very seriously. Sure, if I could, because I know that... Uh Chairman Sellers took advantage of the opportunity to recruit for that position later today. So anybody who's interested in the sheriff's office at his mcso.org and if you meet qualifications, we're willing to embrace you today. Thank you. Thank you so much. So that's why he wore that tie, right? Was trying to seal the deal and, and, and get that position, I think. Uh, thank you so much, Sheriff. So um, we, we do have a... Did we have... We don't have motion. Okay. Do we have a motion on items 43 through 46? Mr. Chairman, I will move approval of items 43 through 46, and I assure you there's no conflict of interest. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Under judicial branch, we have Justice Courts uh, 47, amend IGA with Town of Gilbert. 48, base salary increase for Justice of the Peace for the Ironwood Justice Court. Superior Court, 49, fill the gap plan. The board will now consider items 47 through 49. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 47 through 49. Second. Thank you for the motion and the second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. On to County Management, Assistant County Manager Leanne Bone, 50, American Rescue Plan Act Expenditure Approval and Budget Adjustment, and 51 is the IGA with Valleywise. The board will now consider items 50 and 51. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 50 and 51. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Under county offices, we have Air Quality 52, amend license agreement with Arizona Science Center. Um, item 54 has been withdrawn. 53. 53, sorry. Under correctional health, 54, agreement between Southwest Behavioral Health Services and Maricopa County. 55, amend IGA for Arizona Health Care Cost Containment System Hospitalization. 56, affiliation agreement with Alverno College. Chairman, excuse yes. me. We have a speaker form from Blue Crawley for item number 52. Okay, great. Blue, you've got two minutes on item 52.
with the placement of this downtown in a heavily congested area. I refer back to that plan that is being submitted and the part of it that's the rail that uh, isn't got the uh, connectivity that it should have because there are five routes between downtown and the capital that aren't going to have connectivity with the rail. How is that being multimodal? And since it's air quality that we're trying to deal with, how is that getting the job done correctly? Uh, where the placement of this is is also right there near the ballpark and with the extension of the rail in downtown and that, that's supposed to help cut into that. But if you're not doing a system that's multimodal, you're not getting the job done right. Also in your document, to make things multimodal, when the county and that is upgrading, where's my bike lane? Where's my crosswalks? Because if you're not using paint as a weapon, you're not protecting me. Have a pleasant. Thank you very much. Close, huh? All right. So the board will now consider items 52, 54, 55, and 56. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve item number 52 and items 54 through 56. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you. Motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Emergency Management 57 MOU with the Arizona Equine Rescue Organization. Enterprise Technology 58. Intergovernmental Telecom Use Agreement with City of Phoenix Municipal Court. Under Environmental Services 59. Termination of Lease Agreement. Under Finance 60. Accept Tribal Gaming Funds from Tohono O'odham Nation 61. Funds Transfer and Warrants 62. Mid-Year Pay for Performance Adjustment. The Board will now consider items 57 through 62. Mr. Chairman, move approval items 57 through 62. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Under Human Resources, 63, agreement with the Arizona Department of Administration, 64, amend premium pay rates, 65, market range is 66, capital project and operating budget request. Under Human Services, 67 through 68, agreements with Arm of Save the Family Foundation of Arizona and uh, Newton Community Development Corporation, 69, Amend agreement with Newton Community Development and 70, amend agreement with Guadalupe Community Development Corporation. Chairman. The board, yes. I'm sorry. We have a speaker form from Benjamin Fisk to speak in favor of item number 64. Okay. Mr. Fisk? Yeah, but if you could join us at the podium and please state your name for the record. Good morning. My name is Benjamin Fisk, and I am the president of the Maricopa County Law Enforcement Association. Throughout our nation, detention, off, uh, detention centers, jails, and prisons are shutting down or having to reduce inmate populations due to staffing shortages. The Sheriff's Office jails are supposed to have about 1,900 detention officers. Currently, we have fewer than 1,280. That, uh, that is fewer than any time since 2004. Today we have more jails and duty posts than ever before. The expectations of officers is growing and public empathy for them diminishes. These officers are expected to respond to critical incidents and do their jobs correctly. We had an officer that was murdered at Lower Buckeye Jail when that uh, jail was staffed far better than it is now. The risks these officers take to show up and do their job should never be treated casually. Yet little is being done to ensure proper staffing and officer safety in that respect. When every day jails, all jails, including Lower Buckeye, are known to start, st uh, start shift with uh, uh, well under critical staffing. Recently, Lower Buckeye Jail has started shift with as few as 13 officers on a shift that is supposed to have 41, approximately. All the jails are potentially disastrously understaffed. 
It should be asked that if hiring and retention are not improved, who will be in leadership positions in these jails in the next five to 10 years? Many of the veteran staff will be reaching retirement in the next few years. Steps need to be taken in order to retain them long enough for the new officers to replace them. The liability of these issues falls directly on the backs of the taxpayers of Maricopa County. Your leadership at this point is critical. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Fisk. Uh, really appreciate you coming. Uh, thanks for raising these issues with us. As I often say, we fortunately, I think we do a good job in our country now of acknowledging the service of our law enforcement police officers and our firefighters. But unfortunately, I think our detention officers are forgotten sometimes, but know that they're not forgotten as far as this board is concerned. We are extremely grateful for their service and would, would be happy to you know, further this discussion with you on the, the issue that you've raised today. Supervisor Galvin. Mr. Chairman, I agree. And Mr. Fisk, I just want to thank you for personally coming down here on behalf of your members and these officers raising these issues, being an advocate. Um, you spoke to that very well. We appreciate your time. And please let everyone know that we appreciate their service. Thank you. All right. So um, we, uh, the board will now consider items 63 through 70. Mr. Chairman, move approval on items 63 through 70. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Motion in a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Human Services continued 71 through 77 amend agreements, contract and IGA with Robin Schaefer Consulting LLC, Solar Inc., City of Phoenix, Regional Public Transportation Authority, Town of Gilbert, City of Peoria, East Valley Institute of Technology, 78, IGA with City of El Mirage, 79, MOU with Maricopa Association of Governments, 80, community events and designate individuals to complete applications, 81, participate in receipt of emergency rental assistance funds. Chairman, the, yes. excuse me. We have a speaker form from Blue Crawley for items 73 and 74. Okay, all right, Blue. Okay. Two on each? Uh, that, that's, right, yes, excellent. that's fine. Well, I'll cut to the quick on 73. With our homeless situation being what it is, they're always banging in the media how nothing is being done. This shows that you are trying and attempting to get it done. You were the ones that paid for and got the uh, campus and all of that started. And I want to give you a double thumbs up because it's a problem that's not just going to go away with snapping your fingers. It's going to be gotten away and dealt with with this stuff here. Uh, on to uh, 74. Did you enjoy all those gyrations they did over there at the RPTA trying to explain what they were doing with this and how they're going to be taking care of the citizens? Um, I asked the mayor whether, you know, that, that was all within his community because um, with it saying, well, we don't do anything other than a quarter of a mile from a bus line, taking care of our disabled and, you know, the dial to ride acceptable in that. I think that uh, there are ways to make it work a lot better. You know what I mean? Not that his community needs it that much. You know, the affluence of Paradise Valley is well known, but grandma doesn't need to be driving and to the doctor's office. It needs to be able to be using our system. And since she can't go way down the corner to get a bus, what can I say? Um, like I said, I watched those gyrations yesterday with all of that. Did you, if you understood it, great. If you could do a Balkan mind meld and explain it to me, they didn't understand that what they're trying to do is make sure our whole region, all of Maricopa County, those that need this service need to be able to get it and they're limiting their mentality on it. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, the board will now consider items 71 through 81. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 71 through 81. 
Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Do we have a second? Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Motion and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? <clears throat> Motion passes. Under Medical Examiner 82 through 83, affiliation agreements with Midwestern University and Montefiore Medical Center, Parks and Recreation 84, IGA with Arizona Department of Forestry and Fire Management, Procurement Services 85, Traffic Signal Maintenance and Improvements, 86, body armor and related parts accessories. 87, one stop operator. 88, waste tire recycling and final disposition. The board will now consider items 82 through 88. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 82 through 88. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Motion is second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Public Defense, 89, Additions to Fleet. Public Health, 90 through 92, Amend Contract with Arizona Immunization Partnership, Grant for Arizona Health Zone, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program Education, Contract with Banner Health, 93 through 94, Purchase Order for IGA with Arizona Department of Health Services for Maternal Health, and Arizona Department of Health and Services HIV Prevention and Ryan White, Part B services. The board will now consider items 89 through 94. Move to approve items 89 through 94, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Motion in a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Public Health Continued 95 Rotation Agreement with University of Southern California. 96 Contract for Project ECHO COVID-19 Recovery Education and Case Management Program. 97 through 99 IGAs with the Arizona Department of Health Services. 100 Ohio University Student Rotation Training Agreement. 101 Appropriation Adjustments. 102, grant award from the Arizona Asthma Coalition. 103, anticipated funding for Centers for Disease Control Notice of Funding. The board will now consider items 95 through 103. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 95 through 103. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Motion and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Uh, next, we have Real Estate 104, Extinguishment of Easement. And this item uh, requires a unanimous vote, so uh, it will require a unanimous roll call vote. And at this time, the board will consider item 104. Chairman, we I believe we don't have Supervisor Gallardo yet. Oh, yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll, we'll come back to this item. Yes, please. Sounds Thank good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, Real Estate 105, amend and restated revocable license agreement. Transportation 106, admin correction to patent easement abandonment, road file PAB-0205. 107, 108, agreements with the city of Litchfield Park and Sun City Prides, Inc. 109, master development agreement with the city of Buckeye. 110, development agreement with Olive Charter, LLC. The board will now consider items 105 through 110. Mr. Chairman, move to approve items 105 through 110. Second. Thank you for the motion in the second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Transportation continued. We have 111 IGAs with City of Surprise, City of Litchfield Park, City of Phoenix. Um, so that's actually 111 through 113. 114, contract with TriStar Engineering and Management, Inc., 115 through 118, road files is listed on the agenda. 119, new traffic controls. 120, easement, right-of-way, and relocation assistance documents. The board will now consider items 111 through 120. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 111 through 120. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Do we have a second? Second. I, I wanted to beat... You, you got it. You got it. Well done, Vice Chair. Okay, motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Setting of hearings, planning and development, 121, uh, planning and zoning cases. Under transportation, we have one 
22, Patent Easement Abandonment, Road File Number PAB-0212, 123, Patent Easement Abandonment, Road File Number PAB-0204. The Board will now consider Items 121 through 123. What's up? What's up? Go ahead. Woo. <laughs> Chairman, I move approval of items 121 through 123. Second. All right. Thank you for the motion and the second. The East Valley motion and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. On the consent agenda, we have 124 duplicate warrants. 125, treasurer's collections and disper disbursement summary. 126, offer on tax deeded land parcel. 141-63-884, 127, secure and secure tax roll corrections, 128, clearing uncollectible tax, 129, tax abatements, 130 minutes, 131, cost for per felony case annual report, 132, RICO funds quarterly report. Chairman, excuse me. Um, we have a speaker form. I believe it is for item 126, Lou Crawley. Blue, do you have a speaker form on that one? Uh, I was trying to make sure it's just 126 and 127, but I'd like to bid uh, 350 on that. On, you'd like to bid 350 on 126? Right. And, uh, the, the stated is uh, 300. Okay, let's, let's take a look at that one here. Okay. Chairman, I don't believe um, additional bids can be taken on this because, correct, according to that statute, um, Andrea, it is to the flood control district. The board has the discretion to give priority to a bid from another governmental entity. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if there is a prohibition against taking additional bids, but I do know that the board ultimately has the authority uh, to select a governmental entity if it so chooses. Do we have a representative from the flood control district here? Jen, thanks for, for joining us. <clears throat> Jen, are you aware of any urgency with this particular matter? Yes, thank you, Chairman, members of the board. This is a parcel that is adjacent to an existing flood control basin that has had, um, it was originally maintained by an HOA. The HOA has been disbanded. It has serious drainage issues and it also had an overgrowth of vegetation, which could have been a vegetation and public health issue. So the flood control district has cleaned up the basin. This was mainly, uh, because Maricopa County was able to acquire the basin. This is transferring it from Maricopa County to the flood control district since it's adjacent to the flood control district basin. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Jen. Any other questions for Jen? So, um, all right, so so thank you. So then I, I, I will tell you before there's any motions on this, I'm grateful for the, for the offer. Um, blue, but but my thought would be given the fact that this is adjacent to the flood control property, that it probably uh, would make sense to remain in the in the larger Maricopa County family. But again, I do appreciate the offer. So with that, uh, any comments or, or, or other action from the board? Uh, Mr. Chairman, this is in District 2, and I agree with those yeah. comments, and I appreciate what Ms. Bukorski had to say. So I move to approve item 126. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Super East Valley. Thank you. Yeah, here we go, man. All right. Uh, thank you for the motion and the second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Continued on the consent agenda, a 133. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yes. Uh, that was a motion on item 126. I Did I jump? Still need a motion on the rest. Oh, yes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andrea. Okay, so now I would entertain a motion on items 124 through 125 and 127 through 132. So moved, Mr. Chairman. All right. Thank you. Thanks for the motion in the second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? 
All right, motion passes. Thank you again, Andrea, appreciate that. On uh, item 133, I have a potential conflict, so I'm gonna recuse myself, and uh, if he is willing, turn it over to our vice chair. Sure, thank, thank you, you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman? Oh. Uh, Sorry, maybe, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back here. Uh, so um, uh, thank you, Supervisor Gallardo, for jumping on. Would you uh, care for the board to um, handle item 104, which requires a unanimous uh, vote of the board? Mr. Chairman. Yes. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I yeah. apologize. Well, I, I assume that you'd like us to handle 104 now? Yes, please. Perfect. Okay, great. So, again, real estate uh, 104, so we're, we're, we're jumping back uh, to that item, extinguishment of easement. This item does require a unanimous roll call vote, and uh, I would entertain a motion on item 104 at this time. Motion to approve uh, item number 104, the extinguishing of easement, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Uh, so this item does uh, require a unanimous roll call vote, so I will turn it to our clerk of the board. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Aye. Supervisor Galvin. Aye. Supervisor Hickman. Aye. Supervisor Gallardo. Aye. Chairman Gates. Aye. Thank you. That motion passes unanimously. And with that, I will again uh, cite a potential conflict and, and turn it over to Vice Chair Hickman. Great. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. Item number 133 is a settlement resolution of property tax cases and claims. Uh, do I hear a motion? Uh, Mr. Chairman, motion to approve item 133. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Jack. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. And we will invite the chairman back to the dais. All set. Well, thank you so much. Vice Chair Hickman, and we'll move right on to Board of Supervisors Addendum, Animal Care and Control, 134. New Hope Agreement with Last Chance Dog Rescue and Rehabilitation under Risk Management, 135. Settlement regarding Anthony Wright versus Sheriff Pinzone et al. 136. Arizona State Bar versus Sherry Lacroni. 137, Alexis Dinsbach versus Harris. Under the school superintendent, uh, 138 IGA with Arizona Department of Education. The board will now consider items 134 through 138. So moved. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Vice Chair Hickman. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Under Board of Supervisors Addendum Continued, we have Transportation 139, Resolution for Road File Number A723 in Public Defense 140, Amend Title 4E Federal Entitlement Funding Contract. The Board will now consider items 139 and 140. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 139 and 140. Thank you, Supervisor Sellers. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. Motion is second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Now we will recess as the Board of Supervisors and convene as the Flood Control District Board of Directors. Um, so Flood Control District 141 minutes, 142. Pre-construction services contract to Rummer Construction. 143, declare sell access parcels. Uh, flood Control District N-2269-09 and N-2269-10. 144, easement right-of-way and relocation assistance documents. The board will now consider item 130, 141 through 144. Move to approve items 141 through 144, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for the motion in the second. All in favor say aye. 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 All aye. opposed? Motion passes. Now we'll adjourn as the Flood Control District Board of Directors, and we will convene as the Library District Board of Directors. 
145 donations, 146 minutes. The board will now consider items 145 and 146. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 145 and 146. Second. Thank you um, for the motion in the second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Now we will adjourn as the Library District Board of Directors and reconvene as the Board of Supervisors. And that takes us to item 147, which is public comment. Madam Clerk, do we have any uh, public comment uh, notices today? Chairman Supervisors, yes. Public comment via email, we received two regarding animal care and control, and we continue to receive um, comments regarding um, elections. So far, we've received 537 comments. We also have received some speaker forms for public comment, and I will bring these to you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, and, and as we prepare for this uh, portion of our meeting, just a reminder that during public comment, you'll have two minutes uh, to speak. Thank you. And uh, the, the board, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Um, and uh, the board, under state law, uh, the board does not respond um, to the to any of the issues that are raised, but we may choose to direct the county manager to follow up on the, the issue that you've raised with us. As always, um, we, we ask that, that people be respectful in their comments uh, in, in avoiding profanity and that we not have any outbursts from the audience during public comment. Um, with that, uh, first speaker today is Deborah Nolan. Thank you for joining us. If you can come on up to the podium and uh, state your name and your address. Speaker um, committee, my name is Deborah Nolan. I'm the founder of DontLeadMe.org, and I have the distinct pleasure of talking about, now brace yourself, MCACC. I'm not here to complain. I'm actually here to thank uh, Chairman Gates for al being an ally on our um, mission to work together to find resolve. I just wanted to let you know, I, I know I've been trying to email you and I've talked to Chelsea and I'm competing with that crazy election cycle. But I just wanted to say thank you. And I wanted to publicly say thank you. And I would like to also introduce myself to Joy Rich because we've been trying to reach you, but again, the email thing is not working out because of the elections, but I think you guys did a great job, by the way. Um, when I saw you on the circus, it inspired me to come down here. I've never seen a board meeting. I've never spoken before one. And I just wanted to let you know that I, with your in inspiration, I put together a stakeholders group. We meet once a month and we're not the uh, Lorena Bader crowd. We're the top leaders of the rescue and animal community in our state. It's very deliberate. We will present to you um, a follow-up on specifics, but right now I just wanted to say thank you for allowing me to, to do that and for inspiring me to get it together because I learned about the issues at the county shelter in June. So I've done a deep, deep dive. I've taken the time to really figure it out. Um, I'm a biomedical ethicist, so I'm never going to just come here and spew stuff or complain. I, I think there's a lot of merit to what's happening that needs, I think there's a lot of merit in the group that I put together as well. I think there's resolution and it's so simple that it's hard to believe that the resolution is simple because sometimes what's right in front of our faces seems so complicated and it's not. Again, I just came here to say thank you and I look forward to following it up with you and Chelsea and any other board members who have questions, and to warn Joy Rich, I'm gonna try to email her just to ask a question. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time. <laughs> Appreciate it. Next is Lisa Ritchie. Uh, good morning, Chairman. Good morning, good morning uh, Board of Supervisors. My name is Lisa Ritchie. Uh, I'm a homeowner in Chandler. I've been working in Chandler for 16 years. Uh, on Monday, uh, Chandler uh, City Council <coughs> voted un unanimously to post a multi-housing project, Landings on Actio, case number uh, Z202-1175. I'm here to post that rezoning as well. So I've been doing real estate in Chandler for over 10 years. 
So the traffic at the intersection, Arizona Avenue and Act U, has been pretty bad. So adding another 2,000 residents to the area can only make it worse. There are a lot of accidents in that intersection. So the project is also very close to the train tracks and uh, under a runway flight path. According to the city, um, there's also a water issue. Uh, because the, the area is zoned for light industry, so the water may not be enough for the, you know, for the residents in the future. So the city is not, and the city and the residents are not posing, you know, multi-housing, affordable housing project. Um, we just think the site is not the perfect site for this project. City offered like 14 other sites as alternatives, but the developer refused to consider other 14 sites. Um, so the city actually working on several uh, affordable housing projects in other parts of the city, and they think they're better suited for the residents. So Chandler's master planning is very important, voted by you know, 87 of the residents. So we think the city should stick to the, uh, the master planning. Uh, so I would like to ask the supervisors to um, respect the city's resolution and the votes when you make the decision. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Ritchie, for joining us today. Next is um, Lou Wang. Welcome. And if you could also uh, state your name and address. Uh, sure. Uh, so good morning, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, County Supervisors, and everyone. Uh, my name is Lu Wan. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a longtime Chandler resident. I'm here today to oppose the uh, landings on Oak Deal project, uh, case number Z2021175. So this project is proposed at a location currently zoned for light uh, industrial use. As much as I'm for uh, the idea of affordable housing, I oppose this project for the following reasons. One is the uh, high density house project plans for 518 units. And the average family size in Maricopa County in the past four years is 2.73. So that means more than 1,400 res residents across the street from, from a very popular high school uh, with 4,000 plus students. So it clearly adds uh, traffic burden, uh, uh, which currently is already very busy at the intersection of Octillo and uh, Arizona. Uh, so two is the proximity of this land to uh, local areas airport, uh, railway, and landfill. And the fact uh, it's uh, not having enough water supply for residential, residential use make it not suitable for, for this house project. Uh, three is uh, City of Chandler had provided the developer dominion 14 alternative uh, locations but the developer uh, refused uh, so far. So um, the, if the purpose of this project is to bring the benefit to the people of Chandler, why not follow the city's master plan? So um, we urge the developer to put the interest of uh, the Chandler resident and the government uh, at a higher priority instead of uh, uh, maxi maximizing uh, profits. So on December 5th, the city Chandler council voted anim an unanimously to oppose this project. Uh, and, but they invite the, uh, the Dominion to come uh, to work with them for a better location. So we urge the county supervisor to value the opinion of the uh, uh, residents and the city uh, to direct the developer to the proper location. Thank you Thank very much. you very much for your time. Thanks for coming down. Next is Neo Za. Welcome. If you could state your name and, and address as well. Uh, Dear uh, county supervisors, this is my actually the first time to be here. Well, and, welcome. Uh, I'm so happy I can have this opportunity. First, uh, uh, my name is Neil Zhang, and uh, I am a long, uh, long time resident in Chandler. And um, uh, first, I want to express my thanks and my appreciation to to all of you because I see the the city of Chandler's growth in the recent years. And uh, today come, come here is also for the um, rezoning on uh, Octillo, the case number Z2021175. Uh, actually, I just have one question and one request because I'm living in Chandler area. 
I, I have been watching this, uh, uh, closely watching this uh, case for a long time. But uh, today is morning, uh, I drive my friend here, and we do the carpool, it takes us like more than 55 minutes. The traffic is very heavy, and it's not close to Chandler. So I'm wondering, I, I don't know the rule, but uh, I just I want to ask. I'm wondering, is it possible to move the uh, coming public hearing meeting to the Chandler City Hall? So all the Chandler residents can come and join the meeting and hear all the like, comments. Uh, this is my request, and also the, the time, because the time is always like the morning time, 9.30. Uh, the people like, uh, like me, like the workforce, uh, we always work in the morning. Like our office time always starts at around 9 o'clock. And the morning time is very busy. So I'm thinking if you guys can consider our like, voice. I think the, Chandler, the voice of Chandler resident is very important in this case. Thank you very much. Thank you very much um, for, for your time. Thanks for coming down. We're not able to directly respond to the question, but I, I certainly will remind folks that, you know, now over the past few years now, people are able to participate remotely in our meetings through the, the GoTo Thank webinar. you. Thank you very much. All right, next uh, speaker is Blue. Come on down for two more minutes. With the crowd that uh, you had here back on the second, we know that there's the potential of lawsuits, et cetera, and they're going to be uh, getting your emails, et cetera. And uh, I know that there was an email sent to you by past Supervisor Kanasik letting you know that he and I were outside, so you would have had two more supporters uh, here. But I look at the front page of the paper, and I do get to see my picture. I'll pass this thing up, and the arrow's pointing to it. But more than that, I enjoy that the Gila River aims to yank the TV network that has been spewing such a seditionist coup attempting individuals and their uh, lies and things that they say about you. I didn't know that you really were human. And when I heard that sarcastic remark of wipe that smirk off, I thought they were talking to you. Not my good friend. Now, did the reason they say that to him, you know, disparagingly, was is it because he's Hispanic or a Democrat? Because I know that when I was outside and they were saying nasty things about me and my party, that I said, I'm a Democrat. And the guy went, I know you're wearing a mask. That was the mentality of the people that were doing. And talking about conspiracies, um, is it Gilbert or Chandler that just passed the ordinance to have backyard chickens? Is this their attempt to make sure that you can't go into their area? Because I know that you judiciously, anytime he's exposed to uh, feral chickens and that, he has to take two weeks before he can go around his family or the operation. So is this their attempt to make sure that you can't participate in East Valley things? <laughs> Give you back your 15 seconds, enjoy, and here's the uh, front page. But like I said, this is the best part where those hate spewers and liars about yourselves, and the arrow is pointing to the uh, individual wearing this shirt. Thank you, Blue. All right, uh, so those are all our speakers. I also have a number of speakers who, or individuals who didn't want to speak but wanted to be on the record in opposition. Um, and it just, it, and it looks like these all deal with agenda item Z202-1175 for the record. Uh, Ying Din Chen, uh, Ping Chen, um, Z Zunmen Hodges, I apologize if I mispronounced the first name there. Jung Kling, again, my apologies. Um, Jian Shui, okay. Thank you for being here. Rachel Liu, Susan Liu, and Zen Liu. And Lina 
low. And Gray, I don't think I have a last name there. So thank you to all of you who've come here today, either have spoken or are now on the record as being in. And again, I think those were, I just want to make sure, I think those were all in opposition to the project, just for the record. That is accurate. So with that, we're now uh, have completed the public comment. I want to thank everyone for their participation. This is now the time for item 148, which is our supervisor's summary of current events, the opportunity for folks up here on the dais to say some remarks. So with that, I will turn it to our county manager, Joy Rich. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, I just wanted to thank you for the action you took today on item 66 regarding a county child health care center. The action you took is going to provide us with the ability to delve into the initial stages of potentially developing a child care center to serve our uh, Maricopa County employees. You would authorize us to survey those employees. Over 2,100 employees responded. 60 some odd percent of those were said they would use this sort of facility, and 40% of them would need the extended hours that we are considering for that center. So in terms of retention and attraction and support of the family lives of our employees, the potential for this project is sky high. You heard from uh, representative of our detention officers. We heard from many of them who work unusual and off shifts and, and frequently change shifts that this would be a game changer for them. So thank you for allowing us to explore and continue down the path to develop the center. Thank you. Well, thank you for saying that, Joy, and thanks for your work and your leadership on this issue and working with the team and very quickly uh, moving this item forward. So excited uh, that that may be an option uh, for our employees moving forward. We know what a yeah, that there are a lot of people who, you know, both uh, both uh, parents um, uh, work outside of the home, and so to make this kind of an additional opportunity for folks who may not otherwise be able to work for the county, really excited about this. Uh, next, I will turn, is Supervisor Gallardo, are you still on the line? Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, Vice Chair Hickman. Well, I wanted to, Make sure, is this our last meeting of December? It's, well, it's the last scheduled formal meeting, yes, of December, that is correct. Okay. I go like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's last scheduled meeting. Uh, well, first of all, I wanted to wish then uh, all of our staff and all of uh, um, our workers, uh, all the, all, how much, what's the count now? 13,000 or around? Mr. Chairman, Supervisor Hickman, those are the authorized positions, filled probably slightly over 12,000. 12, okay. Uh, just a very uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday season uh, to everyone. Please stay safe. Uh, we still have uh, sickness floating around. Um, and just be careful. Uh, stay safe on all your travels as you get to go see your family members. But I think the most important thing I wanted to say was, I, and I know I'm going to have a chance at this as well, um, a little further down the pike, but I wanted to just thank you, um, Chairman Gates, for your leadership this year. Uh, I, again, a very turbulent year, and I, I know that I talked uh, to you before this year even started, and you, you had the presence of mind to say, I know it's going to be. I mean, that's just the way it is. So I wanna thank you. Um, you made some very nice remarks about uh, all of us. Um, and are working together uh, throughout the districts, our staff, and, and as well as um, just what we've had to face as a board. And uh, you have steered this ship of the county uh, so effectively, um, and I just wanna thank you for it, just as a, as a man and a friend that, that you were always there for us, uh, taking the heat, as I call it, the point of the spear, and you did it uh, very well. And I just want to thank you for your for your leadership this year. I I'd already known. I've already worked as you underneath you as a chairman, and I had no no doubts that you were going to uh, be able to do this so well. So thanks thanks again, Bill, for being there for us. Well, thanks for the comments, and uh, thanks for again being a hell of a vice chair. Uh, <laughs> a lot of fun uh, working with you. I really appreciate your friendship and your support. And uh, we had some some uh, key f phone calls over the last year where you really uh, were, were able to give me some outstanding advice mm -hmm. and counsel, and I'm just grateful for the opportunity to serve with you. So thanks so much. Supervisor Sellers. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I just want to start again by saying what a privilege it is to work with this board. Um, all, every member of this board, you know, we don't have to agree with one another on everything, but we work together. And uh, it, it's an amazing experience. And the staff at Maricopa County uh, is remarkable. Uh, I don't think anyone who hasn't been in this position can truly appreciate what a great job they do and how efficiently this organization works. Okay, now on to uh, many remarks from my, uh, my meetings and tours. Mm -hmm. uh, I did go out to Queen Creek to meet with Mayor-elect Wheatley. Uh, I, I think that all of us really try to stay in touch with the mayors and council in our, in our respective districts. Uh, I was very impressed with what I learned uh, about her leadership in Queen Creek and, and look forward to working with her more. Uh, also had a meeting with uh, Tempe Mayor Woods to discuss affordable housing and homelessness. Uh, again, that's an area that we all work with the municipalities on to, to try to ensure we're doing everything we can uh, to make affordable housing more available to people where it's really drastically needed and to address our homelessness problem. Uh, I also attended a kind of a fun event, the Chandler Chamber 100, where they recognized the 100 top businesses in Chandler. And they also had a, a food court where all the, the local restaurants provided samples of their wares. But what a great experience to be able to casually walk around and talk with all the business leaders in the city and uh, ensure that they get uh, to, to ask us questions that may be on their minds. Probably the most uh, interesting thing from my Valley Metro meeting uh, where I saw Blue uh, was the, the remark that their goal for this downtown light rail construction is to have that all completed before the Super Bowl. What a blessing that will be for those of us that try to maneuver through downtown Phoenix frequently. Uh, the last thing I'll mention is, uh, you know, I, I know that by now everybody has heard about the exciting news about uh, TSMC uh, planning now a second factory in Maricopa County that will bring their total investment to $40 billion. So that project, along with Intel's already announced $20 billion investment, is an incredible win for Maricopa County. Just those two projects alone add 15,000 high wage jobs right here. But without approval of our Prop 400 extension, as quickly as possible, we don't have the infrastructure needed to sustain this activity. So as your current MAG Transportation Policy Committee Chair, this is absolutely a top priority for me, but now we need to ensure that our state leaders understand this urgency. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Supervisor Sellers. Supervisor Galvin. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, first of all, I just want to thank everyone for showing up here today. It's always appreciated, and no matter the distance and time that it takes to get here, we always acknowledge and, and appreciate you and your input. Secondly, in District 2, I like to say hashtag lots to do in District 2. Last week in Mesa, uh, County Attorney Rachel Mitchell and I got the uh, good fortune to read Twas the Night Before Christmas. Uh, in Mesa, which was really nice. And then yesterday, as a member of the MAG Economic Development Committee, heard really good, powerful presentations about homelessness and how it's affecting our county and all of the issues related to that regarding economic development. And of course, transportation is such a key and important issue that will be our major concern over the next year and couple of years. And I really want to highlight and thank Jack for his leadership on the transportation issue. And speaking of leadership, Chairman Gates, I want to thank you for everything you've done. I can't believe a year has gone by. I still feel like the new kid on the block, but I have a year under my belt. But I witnessed you every single day display professionalism, class, and conducted everything with dignity. And you represented Maricopa County, not just to the state and to the country, but around the world, especially over these last couple months. And we're very proud to have you as a chairman. Um, I've known you for years. But I'm now proud to say that I've been a colleague of yours for the last year, and I want to thank you for welcoming me, um, mentoring me, advising me, dealing with my dumb questions or phone calls at any hour of the day, um, but truly appreciate that. As much as I appreciate Steve, Clint, and Jack as well, all of them have treated me the same. 
And then finally, because it is the holidays, I just want to wish my good thanks to the 13,000 plus employees at Maricopa County, because every single day I come to this building, I am just impressed by everyone, including Joy and everyone else in this building and throughout the county. Just incredible. Just every single day, I'm so impressed. And I just want to let you know I'm thinking about you, your families. I hope you have a nice, safe holiday. And I can't wait for us to continue great things in the new year. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone. Thank you for your 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 compliments and your your comments. And uh, yeah, I can't believe you've only been here for years. Feels like you've been here for a long time, given the leadership that you've shown and uh, through some very very tough times. So so thank you. Um, for, it's great to have you as part of this board. Um, just want to recognize we have the former mayor of uh, the town of Gilbert, Jane Daniels, here. Good to see you, uh, Mayor. Hope you're doing well. Um, I uh, just wanted to, yeah, I'll, pr I'll probably have more to say uh, when, when we get, get together in January, but I just want to thank everyone for their support uh, during this year. It has been a challenging year, but I think it's been a frankly, a triumphant year for Maricopa County. When I say that, I mean the employees of Maricopa County who've had the opportunity to show off to the world uh, what they can do, uh, how they can persevere, and I couldn't be prouder to be a part of this organization. And in particular, I'd like to recognize the people that I have the chance to work with every day in my office. Um, I'm looking for, oh yes, my deputy chief of staff, Chelsea Lett, and my chief of staff, Zach Shearer, have just, you know, again, for those of you who have been around here for a while, you know that, that when someone on this board serves as chair, that means like twice as much or maybe five times as much work for their staff, and that has definitely been the case this year, and I'm just so grateful to, to both of you. You guys are both rock stars, and I love getting to work with you. Uh, every day. Thank you, uh, Supervisor Sellers, for the plug for District 3's TM, TSMC. Uh, and, and we couldn't be prouder, you know, just trying to keep up with District 1 uh, with Intel down there. And it is, it is just so exciting, having lived here in the Valley since 1985, to see how the economy is now diversified. And now we're truly leaders in, in one of the most sophisticated industries in the world. And that's due to a lot of people who have worked on this. And I agree with you, infrastructure is a big part of that. So thank you for always being our advocate on the board here on, on infrastructure, along with so many other uh, items. And with that, I'll just uh, echo uh, what my colleagues have said. Happy holidays to everyone. I hope everyone can get a break uh, from, from all that's going on in our world. Enjoy time, celebrate the season, and, and, and spend precious time with friends and family. And with that, this meeting is adjourned.